brought to the scene. Nina, those parents and students must be feeling a sense of relief after some terrifying moments. Not that long ago, Stacey, parents were starting to be let into the school. You can see behind me, I'm standing right in front of Perry Tipler Middle School. That's on the corner of Eagle and Fourth here in Oshkosh. Parents are now just getting let in about 20 at a time. Now, there are about 1,600 children students that go to that high school. You can imagine at least one parent for every student. So there are hundreds and hundreds of parents waiting in line. The first parents go in line about 25 minutes ago said they'd been waiting anywhere between an hour to an hour and a half to get inside and re be reunited with their students. I did speak with one mother whose daughter is a sophomore at the high school, and she said she found out she uh, the mother was at, she was working out of the gym and saw some police cars go flying in the direction of the school. She looked at her phone, saw our news alerts that there was a shooting at the school. She got in contact with her daughter. She spoke with her on the phone. Her daughter said that there was a person with a knife in the school who had approached the resource officer, and that's where the alleged shooting took place. The I was told from the mother the resource officer had shot the student. We do not know the condition of the student. We do not know the condition of the resource officer. Again, this is I'm hearing this from a parent whose daughter is a sophomore at the school. We're still waiting for all this information to be confirmed from police officers. Again, I arrived on the scene here about 45 minutes ago talking to parents. They're, as you can imagine, very stressed out trying to figure out what's going on. Communication is difficult, especially when you're dealing with hundreds and hundreds of people trying to go in to the same location to retrieve their students. After this incident happened at the high school, the students were bused away from the school if they were able to get out before it was locked down. They were bused to multiple schools around the area, I'm told from some of the parents here, and the students were then bused to this elementary school. Again, that's Perry A. Tipler Element Middle School, rather, at 4th and Eagle in Oshkosh, where they've been waiting in line for hours to get back into the school to be reunited with their son or daughter that goes to school at that high school. We've seen a few people walk out together, a couple moments of people reuniting, but it's been very minimal. You see about 20 or 30 parents go in and only a couple come out. So we're not sure what's going on inside the school. We do know they're telling parents they have to fill out a form to be able to come and claim their student in the school. They've got to fill out this form, carry it with them when they walk into the school to be reunited with their children. Minimal information, again, is coming out right now. We don't know that much about what has happened during the incident, but we do know that there was a shooting at the high school and all the students were bussed away from the school for their safety and then taken here to the middle school where they are being reunited right now. They're just slowly trickling into the school and hopefully having a happy reunion within the school and then walking out and they're able to go home. A lot, a lot of relief, I'm sure, when those parents and students finally connect. And a long wait for those parents, it has to be grueling for them. We do want to mention that the school is saying if you are picking up your student at Perry Tipler Middle School, they're asking that you bring a photo ID with you before your student can be released. Now, this all unfolded just before 9.15 this morning at Oshkosh West High School. Police officers still on the scene right now, as well as NBC. NBC 26 is Juliana Falk. Uh, she's been monitoring the situation there. Officers, of course, waiting for the State Department of Criminal Investigation to arrive to take over this investigation, Juliana. Stacey, we're right outside the school here at the intersection of Southland Avenue and North Meadow Street. There are still a lot of crews on the scene here. Um, there is Oshkosh Police Department, Winnebago County Sheriff's Office. The uh, fire department is here. A lot of people here working, going in and out of the school. Um, traffic is blocked off in the area um, surrounding uh, the school here. Some of the streets are closed. Um, again, we are right outside of the school here. Here's a look at just kind of the scene and what we're seeing seeing here all the different responders um, going in and out of the school, like we said, making sure that everything is safe here and waiting, of course, for DCI to arrive. Um, it, 
Officer Kate Mann tells us with Oshkosh Police Department that they responded at 912 this morning and have been here since. People have been coming and going um, to respond and um, there really is no timeline of how long they will be here, how long um, all of this will take today, but we will be sure to be bringing you the latest information from here at the high school. Stacy. All right, thank you, Juliana. And as Juliana mentioned, we have multiple crews on the scene. We're working to gather any new information for you. Be sure to follow our social media sites as well as NBC26.com, and we will continue to break into programming should new information come in. Again, an officer-involved shooting at Oshkosh West High School this morning. Two people injured, including a student and a school resource officer. Their conditions unknown at this time. We're going to send you back to regularly scheduled programming now.